guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a Monday, it is early in the morning, it is 8 a.m. Close to 8 a.m., I don't even know what time. It is early, I've been getting messages that there's a YouTube channel about to make a video about Sophie and Chance, which is okay. There's something I really wanna tell you about this. All right, we are gonna feed our girls. Go to your spot, Penny. She goes to her spot. Sam taught her that. <laughs> Molly, Molly, you are scary. You scared Gracie. I know there's been a lot of interest in the Sophie and Chance journey, and I wanted to tell you guys that I know a lot of it comes from care for us and care for our children and I know that a lot of you guys have invested interest in us and care for our children and that means a lot to me that you're worried about Sophie's safety based on the information that you have and that means a lot to me and I appreciate you guys caring and I appreciate you guys sharing all your information because we all have different experiences and um, knowing and being able to hear all of your experiences has helped us in so many ways and so many different um, situations and I appreciate that and I just want you guys to know that I absolutely understand where you guys are coming from especially with the fact that Chance needs training and Sophie is young and inexperienced and I agree a hundred and fifty percent it's raining it's already raining I absolutely agree with that and understand that I feel so grateful to have the trainer that we have to be at the barn that we're at that offer us so much incredible support. Sophie did this with Finn, he was a young boy and she was able to ride him and with the help of our trainers and our lesson program, we were able to get him so going so good to the point that he was winning reserve champion and everything that she showed him in her last year with him. So I know that she can do it again with the help of our trainer, especially with this trainer because he's able to do training rides on this horse she also has the support of her 15 year old sister who is way more experienced and been there and helped with her other horse. So I feel confident if it works out that that will be the same situation with Chance. But like I said, uh, this lease is giving us an opportunity to discover for real if he is gonna work or not. And if he doesn't work, we can walk away. But thank you guys so much from the bottom of our heart for all your Concern. Not the bottom. The bottom. No, it's supposed to be from the top, from the bottom of your heart, because your whole heart, not just the top of your heart, the top of your heart would be superficial. But I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all of your concern and your help and your comments and your messages and your support and even the people who haven't supported us but have been worried or nervous for us. That nervousness and those suggestions from you guys have helped guide us. Have helped us to choose to do a long-term lease, have helped us to choose to have this horse evaluated medically on so many different levels, have, have truly helped to guide us in navigating this because if anything doesn't check out with this boy and it turns out that he's not working out, we're able to walk away and say goodbye and that we have you to thank for that. So I just wanted to say that before any videos come out. Can I add something? Yeah. Do not eat grass, it tastes disgusting. Yeah, Sophie's not worried at all. Are you worried about Chance? No. no, he's such a good boy. And one thing that we haven't been able to show you guys yet, but we will, is that even though his training with his trainer, he has been trained by someone, hasn't been lengthy in any means. It's been long enough that the boy knows a lesson program. He is such a good lesson pony. He just goes out there and he knows what's gonna happen before it even happens. Like. You can tell that he understands things, he knows things, and that he's been in, around a lesson program and ridden with kids before. And so we have high hope, it's true. And they may be dashed. I don't have a hood to go up in the rain with. And they may be dashed, but I believe that we're doing everything the be to the best of our ability to ensure success. If at any time things change in that regard, then we will say goodbye to Chance and you guys will see that on this channel. So thank you for everything. Now let's get going on with this video. Where's Will, are... Will was just standing here and I was wondering why, but I figured it out. She was like, are we going on grass? Yeah, the horses are getting like, the horses are staying in today. Can you go get their buckets? Please and thank you. 
Horses are staying in today because it's raining and they don't like to go out in the rain. It's embarrassing, it's true. They, oh, Gabby, you scared me. Especially with that dark hood. So they have an opportunity to go outside if they choose. They can go right outside that door, but they never choose to do it when the weather is bad and that's their choice. They can go in or out. Gabby, you missed chores. Yeah, you're still technically down here when we when we were down here. I know. She really wants to go eat the grass. Go eat some hay, little mini. <laughs> Open the store right now. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, I'll do anything for grass. Good girl. <laughs> I've never seen Willow do this. No. She's trying her best to say, take me to grass. Willow, go out there and see. It's raining. You don't like the rain. Go. Go eat. Actually. Willow's like, there's a shelter. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Minnie. <laughs> please. Please. I need the grass. We'll, we'll take you out later. All right? You'll we'll go out later. One day without grass. So uh, today is the day that we are going to ride a chance in lessons. Actually, it's private lessons today. So yeah, it will be a private lesson. Inside. We're riding inside because it's raining. I, I want you guys to see him riding lessons outside because he actually moves so good. And um, today is the day that he's had chiropractic and massage. It'll be his first ride since he's had them both. Our massage therapist said that if he does change, this is going to be when. I mean, I know he's going to change when he gets more muscle and more fit because he's going to have more energy as well. But she says if he's going to change, this is going to be a big time for him to change because he's going to feel so much better. So this will be her first ride post-chiro and post-massage. So we're going to see... Today will be a good indication of how good Chance is going to be. A heart rock, and I've never even noticed until today. And storms on grass now. Like, I love summertime. Seeing the horses on grass. Hi. <laughs> He's looking at me. Do you have treats for me? I'll trade the grass for treats. But honestly, it was such a good show. Like, you know how you get that aftermath of a good show? And you just want to, like, go back to it? Like... That's such a good show, you guys. <laughs> Let's see if we can find Chance. Oh, I can find him. You know how I can tell? Even though there's like so many horses out here. So many Hi, chestnuts. Hansa. There's three chestnuts here, but one of them's got a skinny bum. Skinny bum. Yeah, and that's his best oh, friend. Mare. Oh, that's his mare. That's the mare, you guys. Good that's the That's Chino's mare. I love this field, though. Love. I love our barn, you guys. Like... <laughs> Sophie's like, can we just throw a couple of cows out here? The funniest thing. We showed up at the show on the weekend and there was a cow jump. A brand new cow jump. <laughs> and Sophie's like, why did they get cow jumps? This is literally the perfect size field for this many horses. Ours is like ours is nice because they can run, but the they our horses will never eat as much hay as we have in our field. They will never ever eat it all. Man, she's already gone. This horse has taught her so much confidence, you guys. Like we said, nothing is written in stone. We'll see how it goes. She says, look at it. Aw, good job. So that wasn't there before. She's letting him look at it. He didn't stop, like he would... She's just making sure he's not going to spook at it. Right by it. Sophie must have taken her horse right inside the arena to lunge him. She hasn't ridden him in, in a while. So our chiropractor said that he's going to be a huge horse. She said his shoulders are huge. Chance is getting the first... Yeah, he's like, where are all those cows? I know they're out here somewhere. But this is the new cow jump. And he didn't care about the cow jump. He didn't care he about... Did. He, he did. spooked at it. Did you spook at the cow jump? So today we're trying a different saddle. Today we're trying a different saddle. It's probably not going to fit Sophie perfectly, but we're going to try it. Look at all the new jumps that they got. It's gorgeous out here. Oh, that's a... There's three jumps in that. Gabby's already up. Sophie's still showing him all the jumps. She ju Sophie's showing him all the jumps, but he's looking for cows. <laughs> but this jump is cute. I like it. It's huge. Oh. 
Gabby just found out that the Liverpool jump is out. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, but cows are over there. Well, he does not look too too alarmed. All right, let's go. I've seen all the horses out on grass. They're all just so quiet and relaxed and happy. Oh my gosh, Sophie's gonna walk him by the cows quickly. So another thing that our chiropractor said is that we're gonna find that he's like super sensitive in terms of like bug bites will bother him and he'll be like really sensitive about every little thing physically like little things will bother him that might not bother a horse like Storm. Like Storm is so stoic and doesn't ever let you see if anything's really bothering him. He definitely looks relaxed though. Super relaxed, super calm. Put his head down. It's Sophie looking around. And I tried doing up her boots. I'm pretty sure they're going to fit her fine. She just hasn't worked, worked them in yet. So we're going to work on that this week. Maybe today. When we go home. Alright, you ready? <laughs> Brandon, I know you were at a show with a hundred kids. Did you see the inside bend that she got? Hey, she was so proud of that. With this <laughs> she did. I have a video of it. In the flat, I honestly was not paying that much attention. Were you in the flat? Oh, he's not any more energetic now that he's been fixed by the Cairo, is he? No, he. It seems like he's lazy. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to be a whole new horse, Chance. He's been on grass yeah, last day. Yeah, yeah, and on grass. Good boy. <laughs> so he's like good boy being lazy. These are pretty flowers too. Are you doing? Look at how calm he is. No scary cows? Like, I wonder why he's, why is he so calm now? Like, why is he even more calm? I think he just... I liked him better when he wasn't calm. Yeah. She's like, oh, he's going to be a whole new horse. Yeah. We thought she meant something different than what he's he is. He's a lazy horse. Yeah, he's more lazy. He can't be lazy. I couldn't make a track, you could think. I think Chance has passed his fear of the cows. No, I don't think so. <laughs> He's like, I see you. I see you there. I don't think he cares, though. I mean, he's a little perked forward. He's just... Okay. All right, go walk up to them. It's an upright fence, right? So, to take a little he's bit more... He's like, do I have to move? <laughs> Come on. Don't hurt my arm off, please. Coming home, right? Like, yeah. you left from here. Realistically, it's really not that. Oh, okay. Like, it's not a huge ordeal. I mean, one more foot would have been better. He wouldn't have been so flat. I mean, for what we have and what we're working with, and just getting to be a little bit more in front of the leg, going forward, this can take a break, okay? But it's really biting. So this, the tooth is very easy. The corner is what kind of sucks you. If you get too far into your corner, you can't get back out. If you cut your corner, you can't get over it. And you find the right tempo, but you have to underride the officer a little bit, and then balance and then back She's up in. She's stuck. He just wants to watch cows. He went from terrified of cows. Well, I mean, this is all he does when he's scared of them. Okay. Terrified to cow watching. He's a cow watcher. All right, watch this, Chance. If I watch, do you catch it on video? Yeah, you will. Look at him. He's like, all right, let's do it. Really jump yeah, I know. Like Sorry. It's his day to ride, and he's like, yeah, I think I'll just have a nap. He's like, I ate so much grass. What? <laughs> Do you think this saddle fits him better, Brandon? I'm really excited to post Gabby's jumping. I might post her jumping tonight, or I might have already posted her jumping because it was really good. So you guys saw, like, usually she jumps at Trillium. And she didn't jump this day because, or she didn't jump last week because um, Chino had just ripped off a shoe and she wanted to be extra safe and cautious with it. With She wanted to be extra safe and extra cautious with it. Oh, she just did hack. But he seems to be doing great. His foot seems to be fine. And we're going to probably take him back into jumping. So she'll probably continue the hack and do jumping because hack is like a warm up. I was really proud of him. Like you could tell he's feeling good. So again, I still have to make a video on explaining all the things that we've done for Chino and changed with Chino. The shirt's black. Oh, it looks cute, Gabby. It's like you got a gray vest almost and a gray saddle pad. 
that's the kind of horse he is. Like, he just doesn't care. I touched his tongue. <laughs> you touched his tongue? <laughs> so this is why Sophie's building confidence. What? You can grab your horse's tongue. I know, but I don't like to grab any horse's tongue. Yeah, I don't like to do that. So the reason that this is the reason that Sophie's building confidence on this horse because he doesn't care about anything. So Sophie had to change her red ribbon in the show. She came first and a second. She went first and a second, but then after we had left, they recalculated the results and she actually came second and second. She still won reserve champion, uh, but we brought back the red ribbon and we replaced it with a blue ribbon. Okay, now even I feel sorry for the horse. <laughs> Sophie's just like, let's just play with your mouth. I think his lips get stuck. <laughs> he bites his tongue. He also likes to chew the bit when he's just standing there. He chews it and it's like he's having the best time ever and he falls asleep. Oh yeah, we need more? Yeah, you haven't bought one. I know, I need to get one. You're a cute boy. Pink, one pink treat left. She was like, I will have them all. I need the dinosaurs. Chance definitely won't eat it. I know, Chance is like, he doesn't care. I know, of course he won't even, <laughs> even try it. <laughs> He's like, let's just go. I got grass to eat. He's like, I got a mare to get to. Yeah, I got a mare. Get that deer horn. <laughs> Smell this and turn his head away. I actually notice a big difference in his bum. Do you see how like this horseshoe thing that they get with their muscles up and around before it never went like on his bum. Now I can see it. It's like going up over his butt. I want a thicker horse for Sophie. I think she just looks better on a thicker horse. But he's gonna get thicker. Our chiropractor was like, Laura, don't even worry. He's gonna get like a lot thicker. The chiropractor took our horse and replaced him with the <laughs> yeah. horse really I know. So tomorrow so he's gonna come and ride him more. I had to kick him just to make him walk. <laughs> yeah. And, and he normally he barely walk. Normally he just gets out there and goes. Yeah, chiropractor fix our horse. <laughs> don't you know that you're beautiful?